my pets at home but um, you can see all the fish is here as you can see but I'm not really sure which one I should get there's the black moles here this ones are two for nine pounds the um, orange mediums goldfish small lemon goldfish I'm not too sure I really want to get a black mole but still deciding on that one um, but yeah I'm just here to look I'm actually I'm not actually gonna buy anything today but I'm just looking at which one I should I think I should get there's weather loaches as well I don't know hmm that's really cute about this one here really really cute wow so cute Currently pets at home. These are all the solutions which I currently all have, so I don't need that. Um, I already have this as well. I bought this the other time. I probably need this, which is a gravel cleaner, so you can clean out with dirt. Or this one, which is the same thing. But I'll probably buy that when I actually get a pet, which I will actually clean my cage right now. These are the plants. I don't know if I actually have to. I don't know. I already have a plant in my wand. I don't want to like overfill it with plants. This one's cute. Six aquatic plants. Which is to go. Mm. I might grab this one. I'll just go back from pets at home. Um, I've got my two uh, goldfishes. I've got the small black moor and the small um, orange araganda. Uh, they grow to about 14 to 20 centimeters so I'll show you that in a minute but before I do that I've got an extra um, airstone as you can see here I just want to install that into my um, to my tank to ensure that they have more oxygen when they're you know when they're going about so let me just take this out of the packaging I'll actually show you how I install it and set it up and everything so you can get like an idea because I didn't get the chance to show you this in my previous video why I unboxed the actual air tank um, air tank when I unboxed the fish tank so I'm going to show you now, wow, this is fairly annoying to take out. But there it is, so I don't know if I should put it like this, or I should put it like that. What should I put it on me? What do you think? Like that? Okay, so I'm going to put it like this. So what I'm going to do first is get a pipe, okay, like this. And what I do is I connect it to the pump, and the pump will basically pump the air into the pot here. So I'm going to show you how I do that. So, oh, that's the flake food that I got. I didn't show you, I showed you all this in the previous video that I'll be using. Um, and obviously, as you can see here, air is coming out of this hole as well. I will leave the link down below where I got this from. I got it for about eight pounds. It's cheaper than most of the other ones and you get all the pipes and everything with it. So it's pretty cool. Okay, so, the so first of all, I just want to connect it in here. Again, this might be a bit tricky because, you know, it is a bit tricky sometimes to fit this in. Okay, that. And we want to connect another a valve to prevent the backflow of the, uh, of the water, okay? And just specifically for this one, you want to make sure that the clear end, the valve, is, is facing towards this. Now, this is a bit of a too, this is a bit too long, so I, I won't really be needing all of this. I'll probably be cutting a bit off, like I did for the previous one. So I'll just cut this bit off, as you can see. Okay. And just to check if the air is coming out, and I can see that the air is coming out. So I'm just going to put it in here like this. Okay. Again, another nightmare, guys. You know, placing, you know, um, something like this, and it feels a bit annoying. Oh crap! I forgot to add the filter. Right, I forgot to add this part here. There we go. I forgot to add the uh, the valve to prevent the backflow of blood. In clay, blood. I keep saying blood. Uh, I meant the backflow of the water in case it reaches, in case when the power gets cut off, what happens is the water goes back. So if, if you get a power cut in your room or anything like that, the water will basically go back into the filter and may damage your filter on the inside, not filter your pump on the inside. So what you want to do 
is you want to insert, insert this valve. If you don't have this valve for your kit, then you can buy it from like Amazon for like two pounds or a pound or something. Pretty good kit to get. Uh, okay, so right, I'm just going to see how long to get that probably be fine. In. I'm gonna insert it like that. Insert it in extra four. Right. Uh, okay, guys, so it's actually in. So the previous one, I pushed it right in. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna put it in the, in the tank. Okay, so my tank actually is two back. Allow me to pull it. Okay, I'm, I just really need to like put my golf push in there because I've got my golf push already and I'm scared to like anything happens to it. That's why I need to get it there. Now, a smart idea would have been to put that first. Right. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this one on first. Because I was supposed to put this one on first inside. Up. Just check if the airflow is still flowing, and it is. Get the thing reconnected. I love, I love air stones. Like, it's just so amazing. I think. In my opinion. And what I'm going to do before I insert this in, I'm just going to check if it works. So I'm just going to put it in and check if it works. I think it does, but let me just check. Yeah, it should work. Just put this. By the way guys, do not get scared. I, I went to the petrol today and I was like, oh my god, can I put my hands in it? And they were like, it's absolutely fine. Apparently. I'm not too sure about that. But that's what they said. So coming from them, it should be perfectly fine to insert your hands in it. Okay, and slowly, slowly, all of it will eventually will start to uh, appear. Is I've got a few plants. Don't know if I should put these. Should I put these in now? I've got beans. Should I put it in? I'm asking my mom if I should put it in. Should I put it in? Should I put? I can't put all of it in. You know. I probably put one behind the Nemo. Yeah, this one here. So I'm not going to put all of the plants in, guys. I'm actually going to put just one in. Okay, don't have to get too worried about it being tapped or not. Okay, and there we go. This is the tank all set up for the goldfish. So, what I'm going to do now is bring this a bit forward because if I put it too back, it will shut from the goldfish, which I do not want to happen. Okay, okay, let me just stop talking because I know all of you are here to look at the actual fish. So, this is the actual, uh, these are the actual fish. So, this, as you can see, uh, we have the black moor, which is right there, and the orange oregano. So I have to put these now in the aquarium to acclimatize to the aquarium. So as you can see, I put it in. Put it close up, please. I bring it in and I leave it in the aquarium like this. And this has to be left in here for about, I would say, a good 
um, 15 minutes just to acclimatize because they have to the condition the temperatures inside the actual uh, inside the um, the bag the, the, the fish bag it actually has to equal the, the temperature in the water that they will actually be in so this is very important this is a very important step anyway you have to turn the light off that's the main thing I want to talk to you about because the fish experience stress when the light is on uh, they, they do sell like um, like fluid where you can put in the tank to ensure that your fish have less stress but I don't advise to go that extreme in terms of stress relief but I think that you know just having this as when quarantine where you have your filter boost to just make sure that the natural bacteria can grow um, which is basically ensuring that your tap water becomes safe eliminating traces of nitrites nitrates ammonia all of that good stuff bad stuff I mean and then having this test kit as well. So this is basically ammonium test strips, five in one. I paid about 10 pounds for this test strips, and you basically put it in and just check if the pH and everything is, is working. So this I re recommend you do every week, so once a week, to just check if everything's work, everything's all good in your in your thing, in your tank, and also feed them this uh, flake food, which I'll be feeding them. I think they already had food in the pet shop, so I won't be feeding them in the pet now. But basically, you have to let this acclimatize and then, you know, make sure that after an hour of releasing them into their into a little new home, then you start to turn on the lights and you can do whatever you want basically to the fish. But for now, just let them acclimatize, okay? As you can see, I'm letting the fish acclimatize. What I'll then do is I'll cut open the bag and then what I'll then do is I will put, slowly, slowly, I'll put my tap water, um, my water in the tank into this, um, into this bag here and uh, hopefully the fish will um you know they will get the they will you know respond to that well okay and okay, like guys so i'm just literally gonna put my um fish i hope i actually advise these instructions i'll just show you these now while the fish are floating in them but it says turn off the aquarium lines float the seal bag in the aquarium for 15 minutes gently add some aquarium water to this bag and reseal and then you have to wait for a further 15 minutes and then release it into the aquarium Okay, so, and then you have to, you can't add, add, add any more for at least a week, okay? Um, and, oh, and, oh, okay, so the bag actually has API stress coat to prevent your, uh, your fish from being stressed. Okay, that's cool. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add 50, uh, 15 minutes has probably gone already, so I'm going to add some aquarium water to it, and I'm going to show you how I do that in a minute. Okay, guys, I think I've added the water in now, and I think they're ready to be released. So let's just release them now into the wild, as they call it. Okay, I like call it, but let's just release. Oh, there it is. There you go. Go on. There you go. Cool. All right, that is going to be disposed of. But there they are. They need little home. Guys, these are the goldfish. I've already just released them, as, as I just showed you. And these are my two air, 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 air stones, as you can see. They're very happy in their little environment. So yeah, if you want more fish videos guys, don't forget to subscribe to my box and fun for more of these videos and leave your comments down below and tell me what type of videos you want me to make on the on these little guys and suggest any names below. <laughs> Thank you very much guys, have a nice day and